It's that time of the year again. It's time to go Every September, Apple comes out with a new iPhone. They also come out with a new way to make their iPhones harder to repair. Last year, the iPhone 13 had its Face ID deactivated after screen replacements. However, if you change out the screen, that will cause it not to work. And this is a serious problem for anybody. That Whether you used an Apple original screen or not, it would deactivate. After tons of negative press, Apple decided to reverse that decision. However, this was not the case for most of their other anti-repair tactics. Apple is consistently trying to make repairs harder for third-party repair shops. The consumer, the environment, and independent repair shops are affected by this act of negligence. Did Apple add any more anti-repair tactics to that list? Well, I've purchased two iPhone 14s to find out. If you're wondering why I purchased the iPhone 14s instead of the iPhone 14 Pro, well, I have reason to believe that the iPhone 14 is full of surprises on the inside. While the outside might look very similar to the iPhone 13, sources tell me that it's not. Not at all. Inside the box, we have our USB-C to lightning port cable. We also have some Apple stickers and the SIM ejector. Apple stated that they've removed the SIM card tray in the US. I can confirm that that is just an American thing because I'm from Canada. One of these is an iPhone 13. Can you even tell? The only noticeable difference is the bigger camera bumps. Aside from that, they look practically identical. Now that we got the unboxing out of the way, it's time to open these up and see what surprises are inside. We'll hit the iPhone 14 with a unscrew. Now's the scary part. There's been rumors that they completely changed the design of the iPhone 14, so I really don't want to break it. The best thing we can do right now is cook the iPhone 14. While the iPhone 14 is cooking, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button. We'll use our Jimmy tool, a suction cup to lift up the display, and plastic prying cards so that we don't damage anything. Open it up. Okay, what? This is different. So for reference, this is what a normal iPhone 13 looks like, and this is what the iPhone 14 looks like. It seems like they completely redesigned this phone. Even though the outside looks the same, the inside is clearly very, very different. It looks like Apple might have just gotten a little more repair friendly. So what we have here is a similar design to what the Pixels have. Basically, where you can disconnect and reconnect the screen extremely easily. This would make screen replacements a hundred times easier. Could this be Apple becoming more repair friendly? We don't know yet. We're about to find out. So we obviously can't get in from the front. We're gonna have to remove the screen and disconnect the proximity sensor assembly and go in from the back. I don't see another way in. Unscrew. Disconnect the screen. Disconnect the front proximity sensor. And that is our screen. They're getting thinner and thinner every year. The screen looks almost identical to the iPhone 13 screen. They might even be interchangeable. I'll test that out in another video. We're gonna have to recook the iPhone 14 and start prying at the back. We'll pry into the back the same way we pried into the front. Hopefully we don't break anything. Open it up. And what? This looks so weird. I don't even know how to react to this. Um, it just looks wrong. I mean, iPhones have opened up from the front since the iPhone 5. And now we're back to opening it up from the back. So when you open it up, you're greeted by those two big cameras, which are now fully exposed and can easily be damaged. We're also greeted by the battery, an A15 Bionic sticker, the Taptic engine. It looks like the wireless charger is connected via this flex cable over here. So we're gonna have to disconnect that and look further into this device. This is easily the biggest change Apple has made to the interior of the iPhone from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone X. That was the biggest change last time. This is the biggest change since then. Pretty crazy. I really wonder if the iPhone 14 Pro looks like this, but I don't think it does. Unscrew. Disconnect the wireless charger. Separating the back glass from the actual phone would be a huge help to those who wish to repair it. Previously, back glass, I sound like I'm <laughs> doing a commercial. Previously on Phone Repair Guru. Back glass was considered irreparable because of the strength of the glue that Apple placed on these phones. But then we started using laser machines to remove it, which is a lengthy and quite messy and annoying process. But if back glass is now removable, it makes repairing iPhones that much easier because glass breaks and we should have a contingency plan for when it does. 
and this is that so thank you apple the back glass actually has the magsafe magnets the wireless charger the flash and the microphone all built in this is a very interesting design, and it kind of reminds me of the old iPhone 4s and 4s's. They used to open up the same way. Basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and remove the logic board from the actual housing. We're going to basically swap logic boards with the other iPhone 14 to see what kind of messages pop up and see if Apple added any new anti-repair tactics. Let's do this. I'm just going to kind of speed through this because this is going to take quite a long time. Now it looks like we can remove our logic board and this is it. It looks rather similar to the iPhone 13 logic board, just kind of flipped over. Apple has clearly done some massive changes on the inside of this phone this year. And honestly, I applaud them for this up until this moment. We'll see if there's any tricks up their sleeve very shortly. If you're wondering how I know how to disassemble this and how I know where all the screws are and everything, I don't. I've just been fixing phones for so long and this blue mat really helps me out a lot. Basically, I can organize my screws in the fashion they came out the phone so that I'm able to reassemble it with ease. Link is in the comments for these. Go check them out. Now, we're going to speed run through taking the black iPhone 14 apart and remove the logic board. And then we're going to place that logic board in our blue iPhone 14. Now we have the second logic board removed, we're going to do the swap. So I've labeled the blue logic board with the blue sticker, if the sticker sticks. And I'm going to keep this here and I'm going to put the black one with the blue one. We're going to move the black iPhone 14 aside. And we'll bring the blue iPhone 14 with the black logic board back. Now we're going to reinstall the black logic board into the blue housing and turn it on we have everything connected we're going to turn this phone on go through the setup and see what kind of messages pop up this is a perfect opportunity to see if face id works let's set this up face id is not available so face id parts are not interchangeable we knew that already that's not a huge surprise to us and we are in right off the bat we're greeted by face id issue detected so work properly important camera message we have all the usual face id issue important camera message and important battery message oh we just got the important display message none of these are new this is pretty standard I'm going to quickly go through the phone and see if I could find any other issues right off the bat. So I tried to open the front camera and I was just getting nothing. I really hope Apple doesn't deactivate the front camera if you replace it. We're going to try and put the original back in and see if we get the same result. It's still not working. The camera is still not working. Guys, if they nerf the front camera, this is going to be a huge problem. But to be absolutely sure I didn't damage the camera or any of those components, I'm going to try the same thing with the black phone. Oh my god. I think we found it, guys. I think this is it. It seems Apple has nerfed the front camera. So if you replace the front camera, this is what happens. You get stuck at this screen and you can't really do anything else. I was really hoping that there wouldn't be anything like this this year, but of course Apple had to do it, I guess. So after updating the phone to iOS 16.0.1, we can go back to the camera app and we find that the camera is in fact working. So that seemed to be just a software issue, not an anti-repair tactic. It seems that Apple did not add any anti-repair tactics this year. In fact, they made their iPhone even more repairable than ever. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.